call the meeting to order at 6.04. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of February 1st, 2016. Herb moved him. Okay, thank you, Herb. Thanks, Rob. Okay, this is the way it's gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Is there any discussion? One abstention. <laughs> we haven't voted yet. Are you really gonna do this? All those in favor of approving the minutes as written, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Aye. One and one. That goes out. You're gonna break the. You didn't hear me. The fair. I didn't. Say, did you say yes? Okay. Then uh, yes, I'll I'll vote the affirmative. <laughs> Motion passes. Oh, I'm going home. It's time to adjourn at six o five. Oh, that's not available. Good. I'm so. glad it's not. Um, any additions or deletions to the agenda? Um, I'd like to do an executive session to discuss personal issues. I don't know what your numbers are for that. But. Okay. And I'd like to invite the highway foreman to join us, but I don't know if he's going to be here tonight or not. So we'll, if he shows up, we'll invite him to join us. If not, we'll be part of the discussion. Okay. Uh, I need to add under old business uh, the Army survey for Dam Road. Not the Dam yeah. Road, yeah. for Dam Road. The Dam Road. <laughs> and so it goes. Okay. Any other additions or deletions? Okay. Then, um, highway. Since the highway foreman isn't here, there are some things I'd still like to go ahead and, and discuss. Um, one of the one of the items that came Pretty. out of the last oh, yeah. meeting we had with the highway foreman was the fact that we had an employee issue that we needed to have be updated on what procedures and what um, guidelines were given to the employee and we were supposed to be reported back to so we knew what the expectation was. And we have not heard yet what the consequences of that meeting were. I think we need to make sure that that gets remembered. Yeah, I mean, that <clears throat> tonight's uh, executive bill I request is going to be discussing okay. issues around that same employee and okay. interactions with the public. Okay. Uh, then we have the highway financial and mileage certificates. Do we, do we have, actually have one or is that something curve was? We had that uh, last time and uh, we put it up for this time because we had a short quorum last time. So let me see if I find it. I just got it out. I don't think the financials are done, but I think the mileage is there. I don't know what is that the same mileage as last year? Same mileage as last year. Yep. I'll let her bring you down, I guess, for a minute. Um, actually, I did have that uh, on the on next third one down. I went. Oh, you did? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so you had it in your highway. Well, well yeah, so we'll, just for we'll, some we'll, reason. Then know. we'll take it out. Just as a place to put it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Good. Good evening. Warm up, isn't it? Warm up. Indeed. It's kind of a desert heat instead of a tropical heat out here. So our first year we can begin the highway report from him, correct? If you'd like to, and just didn't come back and pick up the certain miles. <coughs> yeah. All right, so since you're here now, Kurt, do you have a report for us? We really don't have much going on. We had a ton of little storms, pain in the neck. Uh, I did have to order sand the other day. Our salt strip is probably four or five more storms. Um, I don't have a lot. We've just been trying to plow these little storms off, save as much sand as we can, and all the equipment's in good shape right now. No problems. Okay. Um, then I'll go 
go back to something I mentioned earlier. Uh, the last time you spoke to us, we gave you kind of a directive to have a discussion with one of the employees. Yes. Um, can you update us on what that was, or would you prefer to do that? Oh, no, no, no problem. I discussed it with them and, and told them. Try to not lay down the law, but set uh, boundaries for him, and he agreed with me. We'll see how long it lasts, and if I have to remind him in the future, I'll have to remind him in the future. But it was not a problem. Okay. It really went a lot better than I thought. <laughs> All right. So the, 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 there was no there was no um, guideline that, in other words, thirty days pro probation or anything like that. I did not. Ones. No. Okay. Whenever we discussed it, if. if the volume got turned up, remember the whole thing, and it's, it's a big problem. I was going to come back to you guys, we were going to write a letter and put everything, but it went, it went where, really well. Where did you talk to him? The next day. The next day? Yeah, the next day. So right in the morning. Give me a date on that. Okay. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't January the last January 18th meeting. was the meeting, so it would have been the 19th. 19th, yep. Yeah. Because yeah. you weren't here at the last meeting on the 1st, so we're, we're four weeks out. Yep, we would meeting by ourselves to the side, and everything went well. Okay, good. Um, then, Irv, are you done with the highway mileage? Yes, that's the same mileage as last year, right? It is, yep, same mileage, yep. It's a different format this year. Yeah, I see the forms different. Yep. But, uh, well, one thing before I forget it. You want to check in vent on your heaters up at the garage? They're building up with ice, and if they don't, they may put your propane fumes back into the shop. Oh, is it really? Oh, I don't know. You know, the outside vents are on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, there's one vent to the propane mm -hmm. heater, and uh, then the other one's for the. Yeah, there's some build up of ice on them. And I hate to have yeah. you guys all getting sick or some damn thing because. Um, the, yeah, the ice yeah. usually breaks off, but if it doesn't, it just okay. comes back into the building. Right. <coughs> I can only go in one place at a yeah, time. I'm having sorry. a hard time. No, I'm sorry. Um, we were talking about when we walked in the, the mileage certificate. Yes. If everybody's okay with that, I would entertain a motion to sign it. Double. Just a second. Second. Is there any discussion on it? Hearing none, all those in favor of signing the mileage certificate signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes. Okay, now who's T slash C slash V clerk? T slash C slash V. Okay, since nobody knows who that is. T slash V Town clerk slash. No. 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 No, because the select board's yeah. got, I don't know which way do you want to go, go that way. Okay. We'll let you sign this clerk, how's that? Sounds good. Uh, um, well, while we're here, I do have, I have a couple of questions about the, uh, I don't know which way, where to start first. Okay, let's, let's start with the, um, the culvert inventory. Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the things that in the inventory you gave us has come to our attention is the fact that the the culverts that were designated were on the map back here in 2012. Um, only about three of those are reported as being done in 2015. Is there a, is there a reason that that the culverts being replaced aren't matching up with the ones that were prioritized? The map fell down, or AA took it down, but there is a list here of the culverts and how they were prioritized in 2012. And looking at what we have from you mm -hmm. and the dates done, it only appears that three of them that were identified have actually been done. And I'm just curious as to why. I don't follow you. Come up here. I'd like to show you. <coughs> Let's get the map. Three of them that were. Okay, this is th these are the ones that were identified in 2012, the, yeah. the culverts. Mm -hmm. Okay, and these are the ones that you say you, you are reported done on your sheets. Mm -hmm. And if you look across, you know, that, one, that one's been done. 
But you look across all the, all the others that were identified as needing to be done, and there's only three of them like this that have actually happened. Yeah, and I'm just curious, you know, did, was it determined that the ones they identified were were actually not the priority, or? I mean, the ones I had on the list to do. Well, whatever this list was done. Yeah, it, the critical these ones were, should be the first ones. Let's, let's just back up a second. This is a bridge from Culvert's inventory uh, from April 2012. Yes. David and Mark the Beaver Deceivers, Culvert's needing replacement mm -hmm. or larger size are marked in red. Mm -hmm. And these are the culvert numbers that appear on that sheet there. Right. A lot of the culverts that we did do, um, that I had marked on here, um, and crafting or reporting them. They were all done because of paving and stuff. Mm -hmm. If the culvert was not, if they're in bad condition, which I had on the old report, poor shape, mm -hmm. if they were not fail, I did not do them unless they were failing because I did prioritize them. It needs to be done for jobs coming up or ones that had failed or one that were giving us a problem right then. Four culverts are not failed culverts mm -hmm. were taken care of, but poor culverts and bad shape culverts. Only if they failed, got taken care of, or were in the process of failing at the time. Really. So you, what you're telling me is that is that because there was work being done around the, the culverts that you replaced, you went ahead and did those. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. We just didn't arbitrarily replace culverts. Right? What What do you call failed? Tra culverts that gave us problem that spring or that winter or that that fall. And what about the bottom we have got? The bottom, there's, a, there's still culverts where the bottoms are gone that we have not replaced yet that I have a list for. Uh, I know, you've got one that before I have, you I got have your, more than one. that you were told about before you got your backhaul. It's never been fixed. Which one was that? One right to the bottom of the dip before you get to the state forest. Going from uh, Ball Mountain Campground, if you start up, there's a three foot pipe right there. The bottom has been gone and it sits for the can on this backhaul. So, do, do you? Do I mean that, as far as I'm concerned, when the bottom's gone out like that, that should be a critical replacement. Do you still have the list from 2012 of the ones that were identified in that for that map? I should have the graph somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say otherwise you could. Just I, I have some on my computer, you know, 13, 14, stuff like that, so I could probably add them all together. And okay, because I would say you would take a copy of this if it, if it would help. I know what you're talking about. All right, and then the uh, back to where I was here. Where's the culverts? Um, one of the things that we're going to talk about. I feel like I just I I should just probably just go home. That's gonna make it easier. No, no. I don't know. My papers are gone. There it is. It's over here. Uh, one of the, the questions we have on one of the bills, or well, two questions actually, we have <coughs> the Atlantic Broom bill. Yes. Now, they keep sending us second notices, and are we supposed to pay that or not? Where I, are we with those signs? I talked to that lady and started replacing the sign that gone over the list. I just want to make sure everything, because we have to give her back the old aluminum. And, and I told the lady, we had to wait so long, and this is not the greatest time of the year for us. We only got them, what, a month ago? And, uh, but we told her we're not going to pay her until we get everything straightened out our end. We're not the one that messed up. They're the ones that messed up. And I'll call uh, Jack Davis. He's our salesman. And I'll talk to him if there's, if you're getting second notices. Yeah. Thank you, sir. As soon as those signs came that day, <coughs> excuse me. As soon as that, so signs came that day, I called that woman up to talk to her because I have called them so many times to get those signs. And if they want to put pressure on us like that, that is absolutely ridiculous. It was it was on it was on a warrant at the last meeting. I did it separately because you said we weren't. You know, and I, this was going to be a washout, mm -hmm. so we didn't pay it. But then another notice came in, so it's on a separate all by itself. I, I think I talked to you back shortly after we got the signs about that. Right, but we, because we're now sending second notices. Well, it's I'll just call. A matter of, uh, I'll make sure to Jack out. Davis hears about hears about it tomorrow. Okay, and then this, the things going on with the. Um, Freightliner. Who do I want to say? Patriot. Patriot, thank you. On the truck, the truck that has fire. Truck that had fire, the light problems again. Yeah, Did well, you get another? Yeah, I told those people before they even worked on it. 
Or instead of getting bills. You don't have the number of that bill right there, so I don't know. Yeah, we do. <laughs> For the lights and in the differential light. And then while he's digging that out, uh, one of the one of the issues that we have tonight uh, on one of the bills is one of the Napa bills, and it was for some hose that Ed ordered, 50 feet mm -hmm. of hose. Yes. Uh, well, a couple of things. Number one, why did that go through straight to Napa and not come through the purchase system, purchase order system? It was well over $100. It was almost four. How much? Almost $400. Almost $400. Almost $400. It was $384.50. Oh. Anything goes to the purchase orders? Anything over 100 we should have some, some competitive bids because, again, what we called Sunil to find out if they had the hose and what it would cost. They do have the hose. $252 as opposed to $384. It's a huge difference. So, you know, uh, again. Why don't we write down that we just don't have Ed doing as many order things, please? So that way we can eliminate these types of situations. Because it, it seems to me that a lot of these mess ups and mishaps aren't by you so much, it's by Ed. And as far as like following this purchase order number, it would be. Pretty neat. I mean, it seems uh, we understand that you have, but we're not understanding that he has. I think I think a lot of what and that's why we're bringing it up to you. A lot of what we're getting back are that the item is filled out on the on the book, but there's no prices, so it's not like anybody's actually gone and, and found out. You know, like on that hose, you know, almost four hundred dollars for the hose. It would have been fairly easy to pick up the phone and call. Sure. Couple of people to find out what it would cost. Well, and, and that begs my question. Because um, I do have Ed orders, you know, order stuff because he sees he writes on the purchase order. Like, like Craig is stuff. Craig is giving us a little comparison sheet, <clears throat> and so I wonder why we deal with Napa. Um, and these are just numbers of parts that you ordered, the the part number. So I won't identify the part necessarily, but we bought a part from Napa for $16.49. You can buy it from Gates for $12.57. There's another part for $11.18 that you could buy from Gates for $6.74. There's another one, and it goes on and on, there's one for $24.99 that you can buy for $17. You say Gates, that's, that's online? That's online. And it, anyhow, it goes down through here, and it's well over a hundred dollars in, in in less than a month savings in in ordering in not using NASA. I mean, NAPA is almost it's, it's like thirty percent higher than any of these others. And and I think that in a year's time there's a it, big savings. I, I do not I'll be honest with you, I call local vendors. I do not go online and find Yeah. Because when I want a part, I want it, you know, the next day or whatever. I do not go online for pricing. I do call Napa, Bond, Sunel, and sometimes I even call Twin State to get their prices. Like on the batteries when I bought for <coughs> and stuff. Um, but again, I don't like a nickel dime. I yeah, I know, but I see. That, but it, I see your point. It does add up. A nickel dime right. over a year's period of time. So right. you might want to review how that's happening. That's all. That's yeah. But it shows up on the bill. No, we're not. No, don't pay that. No, no, no. Like I told them. I yep. told you but it's still, it's still, it's still. I'm leaving. Remember, I told you about this. Yeah, it's still, it's still riding on this uh, right. invoice, sir. Okay. Then the only other thing that we had under highway for, on the agenda was the uh, temporary easement for the Army Corps from Dan from the dam. Have you heard anything at all from them? Not from the Army Corps, no. And. Uh, what I got from um, Jess Rizzio, the Epic Engineering, I, you know, I did for to you and stuff, but I had not heard anything from anybody on that. And I did call two places on that for survey work, and one of them is yet to get back, and I'm assuming it's because of the holiday. One of them did get back saying he wouldn't be able to do it. He would not? His Bill uh, Kramer, uh, Dowsie Kramer. Well, not. They're jammed for time, and he declined to take that on. But I've also talked to SVE, 
Southern Vermont Engineering, but they've changed the name somehow. But anyway, and uh, they're uh, supposedly putting a number together for me. Uh, he was going to talk to Jess Rizzio, Rizzio? Yes. Um, just to get the parameters of it. And he was supposed to come out last week when the weather was good, knowing that this week was going to be cold. Um, or well, not so good. But anyway, he was supposed to, just to give us an estimate on what it's going to cost. Well, I so thought we this was all done with that flood when we asked for that easement. I thought it is about it. Right? We, got the, we got a temporary that easement. That should have been all, the I meets and bounds should right. have been all done, am I right? When right. David was on. So we should have a, we should have a copy of that somewhere. It wasn't done. I read one, uh, Jess, and for the temporary thing, I don't know if it, it doesn't say that survey was done in the copy of that paper. There was paperwork work that came through for the easement. After the temporary was done saying that it needed to be permanent, David was going to bring it to a meeting in February, March of 20, I'm going to say 12, and something came up like hiring a reappraiser. It was an interesting year, but anyway, it was an interesting spring, so it didn't get into that meeting and then it slipped through the cracks. Never and for two years it didn't get followed up. The Army Corps didn't press the issue and, and uh, that email that uh, Jess got that she forwarded to you and forwarded yeah, to me that says somebody from the Army Corps has been trying to get a hold of David, it, that hasn't been happening. In any case, they've given us until March to get it done. I called two surveyors um, asking for, put a number on the table, we'll take care of it kind of thing. And uh, uh, Dow Shane Kramer called back said they didn't have time to do it, even though it should be fairly straightforward and easy. Um, I they're, thought we they're had busy to do that before we even got the temporary we one. Uh, no, we got the temporary one. That yeah, was but okay. didn't have the survey and the meets and bounds in order to get the temporary easement. I thought we had to do that with the Army Corps. But right, but the permanent one is going to be a little different depending That's on where Basin put the head wall or something. Right. I suggest you discontinue the road. <laughs> then they can own it. Uh, well, no, I remember getting the temporary one and the class four. And we also got we then when we got the temporary one, we also had to get a, an easement to go across property bounds and get core boards from there and stuff. Right, right. But the, not the permanent one. Boy. Nope. See, I, I know we did that. Maybe and I think the happened. woman's name was Maureen, because I remember talking to Maureen about something. With the Army Corps. With the Army Corps. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but that was as far as I ever had to do because the in fact I don't know. When Beck gave us the information, I guess we never followed up. See, we should have, instead of rebuilding the covered bridge, should have put a permanent bridge across there that automobiles could use, and then you could discontinue the dam road. Well, until you change the fact that the Army Corps has given us a, a month to get a survey done and to get, get in there. And, and then I, will, I will point out again well, whose name is on the top of that document. Well, I will point that out as well. It's not mine. So. That's right, it's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not sure what the penalties are. Uh -huh. You come visit me in jail. So yeah, we, we do need to get somebody yeah. who can go out there and tell the army exactly where the head walls ended up and, and exactly. And we should have had a number on the table tonight. Uh, we do have two estimates on the table tonight that did come in today, even though it's a holiday, but that one did not. So I'm assuming it will come through. Um, I don't think it's going to be that much. But it's going to be a lot because yeah. can't, we can't charge it to FEMA yeah. now. But the boundaries there are unreal. Oh, I'm sure. But there used to be a boundary right in front of Al's house, right in the road. Really? Yeah, that was part of, remember, Kurt remembers when that flood has happened. When we done that original <coughs> meets and bounds and easements, that it was. Even even in the land records was a wicked mess. Yeah, but yeah. that in the road has been gone a long time because they put it right square in the goddamn cobble. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to jail you and come visit. I will. I'll bring you a file Thank baked you. in a cake. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so did you did you want to invite Mr. I do. Buster? Yes. Okay. Then. Um, I would make the motion. Uh, 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 and do it, do it right. All right, you do it. I, I will. Right. I will entertain a motion to find that discussion of uh, personnel issues with the uh, the select board at a disadvantage if it were to be held in public. That was the motion. I would entertain uh, that motion. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? 
Mary Mann, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The motion passes. Now, I will entertain a motion to move into executive session to discuss um, employ, uh, employee evaluation uh, and invite Mr. Bostrom to come with us. So oh. moved. Is there a second? <coughs> Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The motion passes. One the, VSA. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I should have read the number. That's all right. Uh, one VSA section 313A3. And we can do it at 6.30, that's pretty quick. Cool. Yeah, and it shouldn't take one minute. So we're going to go ahead and call it back. We're up in a minute. Yeah, 7.44. 640. Oh, gosh, this one is 6.44. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. As a result, I'll let Kit spiel it out because he just, just did it. Um, I did. <laughs> As a result of executive session, the highway foreman will address the issue at hand with the uh, specific employee and report back to the board any resolutions. Bill's managed to end up. Did you have a bed done? We haven't no. done the bed done. You did, just in time to read. Make a motion to pay check warrant. Report number 02151. Payroll in the amount of $9,406.13. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of pay payroll warrant 021, which is payroll in the amount of $9,406.13, signified by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The motion passes. Make a motion to pay check one report number 921010. 0. 0215. Bring that back. Make a motion to pay check warrant report mm -hmm. zero two one five zero two. No, no zero, just two. That's all I got. I already got it. Yeah. There's number There's two. something going on there. Number two. Taxes in the amount of three thousand five uh, three thousand seven hundred fifty seven dollars and sixty six cents. Second. Is there any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor of paying uh, withholding warrants. 02152 in the amount of $3,757.66 signified by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Dungeons? Motion passes. Make a motion to pay check warrant number 02153 in the amount. General, general fund, right? Yes. General. In the amount of $12,311.61. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of paying general fund warrant 02153 in the amount of $12,311.61 signified by saying aye. 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 <coughs> Abstentions? The motion passes. Make the motion pay check warrant number 02154 general fund in the amount of $155.33.31. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of paying general fund warrant 02154 in the amount of $155.31, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes. Make a motion to pay check warrant report 02155 highway in the amount of $8,043.82. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of paying highway warrant 02155 in the amount of $8,043.82, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Abstentions? Did you vote, Kit? No, I did not. He's I, thinking on it. <laughs> there was something there that I wanted. Aye. Right. Okay, so, the motion passes. Well, 
the two that we were yeah, talking no, about, those two. Yeah, there was something else in that other one that oh, okay. got a question there. Right? So. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Make a motion to pay check one report number 02156, Highway Department, in the amount of $3,630. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? This is the one that we ought not pay. Um, because we're supposed to be getting credit, it's a it's the road signs, and the bill doesn't give us credit for the return ones and who's wrong. And I believe that Kurt is going to address that further with the company. So I would urge you to vote against this. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor of paying highway warrant zero two one five six. In the amount of three thousand six hundred and thirty dollars, signified by saying aye. Opposed? No, aye. aye. Abstentions? The motion is defeated. Make a motion to pay check warrant report zero two one five seven equipment fund in the amount of two thousand seven hundred eighty five dollars and eleven cents. Second. Is there any discussion? This is also the one that um, had the hydraulic hoses and the Napa, the difference in, in where we could buy stuff that we already discussed with Kirk. Um, and we, in fact, did order it from Napa, so I suppose we have to pay the bill. Okay, any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of paying equipment more at 02157 in the amount of $2,785.11, signified by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? Motion passes. Make a motion to pay check warrant report 02158 general fund in the amount of $523.26. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? What was that one? Can I just? That was uh, a propane bill in W. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Yeah. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of paying. General Fund Ward 02158 in the amount of $523.26, signified by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? The motion passes. So just for general information, uh, the total amount that was submitted for warrants was $29,612.90 this evening, uh, but that would be less three thirty-six thirty for the uh, the sun, the road signs. So about 26 even. About 26 even. Yep. All right. Moving on. Law enforcement. Uh, let's move back. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah. Where are we going well, back? You, 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 you finished time away and went to executive and then you went to warrants, leaving out law enforcement, town clerk, and treasurer. So we're going to move back now. Yeah, okay. Get it now. Early. Going on 10 months. <laughs> All right. Back to law enforcement. I don't believe there was anything that came in other than bills. The, just the bill, and the bill is not descriptive of what they do. It's so, just hourly rates. No, I'm going to make a note of that when we get down here. Yeah. Is the hourly rates or the portion? I think it's the portion. Okay. Yeah. It's the. I'll let you look at it because he didn't have time. Yeah, to I, did look, and I, I was thinking that it's proportional not hourly, not that it's going to matter particularly, but because didn't we ask before that they could give us a yeah. specific, yeah, if yeah. we request, they will give us a specific rundown or specific. That's all right, you don't have to. I mean, yeah. I'm just. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, You all should have uh, town you know. monies in your uh, in your piles, in your papers. Mm -hmm. Okay, town treasury. Yeah, you're gonna have just about the same amount as you had last month. Cool. Net zero, huh? No. After you deduct. Oh, after. Okay. After you deduct, you're gonna have about eight fifty, eight sixty. Most of them have like two ten, and I do have one at win. Had a good day party. 
Yeah, the schools are coming up again. Just yeah. all our own information. No, what is it? 18th and then taxes are due. We had enough to pay the schools before taxes? Yes, we could. What? Uh, no, you don't pay the school until now. 20, 20 days after oh, the oh, taxes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to be about the 18th or 19th that we pay them. But yeah, we got enough right now. We can pay them right now if we have to. But we don't want to. No, we don't need to. Oh, right. So but one thing I do want to find out. Greg and Sam were supposed to get eight eight grand or something from, for a free appraisal. As it come in, how much longer do you want to hang on to that money for you that's in the general fund before we put it somewhere? It's what, 90 something thousand? Yeah, it's about 100,000. Um, the board signed a piece of paper in instruction to the treasurer when that reappraisal funding came in from the state because mm -hmm. they charge us whatever. It was going to push us up to 107, 108 in that fund to get it out of the general fund and into a a special CD or whatever, just so that when he gives a report and says you got 800,000, you don't have to deduct 100 to realize that uh, some of it's locked up. Um, we'll see if we can find out this week. I mean, I left a note for Terry if she saw the ACH come in to let me know. Um, but I haven't seen it come in yet. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll check on it this week. What, is that what kind of fiscal year? Did you file yeah, that we were fall? supposed to. Yeah, they were. They were staggered. We were going to get this in yeah. November. We we're going to get that in December. Something was going to come through sometime this winter. So I'll have to, I'll have to see if we can relocate that schedule. And uh, so, what do you want to do with that money when it when it does come in? I'm assuming we're going to put it to a CD. Nothing's paying. Okay, that works too. Okay. What do you want it? So hey, what? Got one if you Well, you can always take it out. I'm, I'm thinking. We're not going to be up for reappraisal for quite a while. I mean, I, I can't see keeping it too handy. No, well, but, but you, you can renew it on an, an annual basis when you got new money coming in. Yeah, we could add to it. Right. So, no, so, in other words, if you did. You could do it for three months. Well, I think you could do it for a year. In a year, right? Yeah. Mm. If, you, if you said for a year and then uh, plan to, to roll it over, or hopefully the timing would be right that you could roll it over with the new money. Mm -hmm. But you would know what the new money was anyway. Didn't they tell us? How much is coming in? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's 89. So even if you didn't hit the, hit the window for the rollover on the CD, you could still go ahead and move the funds just. In anticipation we'll find, we'll find out this week. Hopefully you can put the whole thing aside and we have a nice neat number. If not, then um, I, I would also advocate, as he's advocating, that we just go ahead and start a CD. <coughs> Add to it when we have to All right. So there are no members of the public. Can we just back up law enforcement just to clarify that yep. that is an hourly rate in, in hourly burnout, how many hours they've spent in town to uh, not Activity specific, but how many hours? So I stand corrected. I thought it was important, but it is by the hour. Okay. Then moving on to correspondence. We, the uh, Selectwood received uh, a letter from Henry Pinkney on Depot Road, and the first part of this, this request is. He says, can I get two blind person signs ahead, slow down, and put in the ground by someone? I have asked uh, the post office to return all my mail as I am blind. What can I do about all of this mold in my trailer? No help from the Council on Aging or Health Department of Town. I did make mention of this to Governor and Bernie Sanders. Something must be done. I tried reaching the Brat Reformer. I am 99% blind now, which in and of itself is difficult to answer. But because of the tone of this particular letter, it was in fact um, forwarded. Yeah. That's not the right word for it. That was the that was the previous one, right? That's that the first one. But oh, that's the one thirty. Then then there was another letter that that came in um, to the health department, <coughs> and it says, "I need my trailer checked for mold. Now I have breathing issues." Sneezing, coughing. If I place my head on a pillow, my head wants to explode. Dampness here for years. 
floors rotted, action needed ASAP. That's to the health department, that, that Bo Boxes in? Is it? <clears throat> boxes, it looks like boxes in. I don't know what well, that means. I don't know. We couldn't quite decipher it. But meaning that was that, 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 that line, but I think it is, I think it is boxes in. But the, uh, that, was, that was then forwarded on to Dr. Schaefer, which, who is our uh, health officer, because of the, the tone of the letter and the, and the complaints about the health issues. Dr. Schaefer did speak to Mr. Pinkney and proceeded to write this letter to the Board of Health about the complaint. It says, Craig Hunt delivered to me a, the letter dated 2-2-2016 from Mr. Pinkney addressed to the Townsend Health Department and received on February 9, 2016. In that letter, he expressed that his trailer had mold and was giving him health problems, including sneezing, coughing, and headache. He noted the floors were rotted and he had long-standing problems with dampness. I spoke to him at 6 p.m. this evening. He confirmed that he owns his trailer. I informed him that the jurisdiction and responsibilities of the Board of Health do not extend to privately owned and occupied dwellings such as his. As property owner, it is his responsibility to contact a contractor or other professional to evaluate and rectify any problems. After a brief discussion, he indicated good understanding and that he would seek appropriate attention for the problems. Respectfully, yours, Dr. Timothy Schaefer. So hopefully at this point in time, the issue with the trailer and the, and the uh, mold is done, but I think we still have the piece about the signs mm -hmm. to deal with. Now, one of the things that did come to my attention was <coughs> the two signs on Route 35. I was going to say, there's two signs up there. Were, were put out, and the, the individual those signs were for has passed away. Right. And I think it would probably be wise to instruct Kirk to find out from the state what would be involved with uh, taking those signs down and, and, and placing them. Right. The state didn't put them up, the town put them up. Yep. On 35? Yep. yep. Wow. We had a request and we had them put up. Yeah, so that's a, a so there are signs. That's something, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we can instruct Kirk we can, to, to move yes, them. Yes, that's right. And they could have come down five years ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, but no, that's okay. We have the signs. We can relocate them potentially. Yeah, actually, that's it. Potentially relocate them. We already own them. Oh, there's, still, there's still two up there? There's one up there anyway. Other two? And, uh, one each way. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Depot's a different classroom. Drive by them twice. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. So I got the blinders on. Yeah. When, yeah. I'm going, yes, when I'm going that way, so we can talk to myself. Spell yeah. them. We don't need to state. See, on 35, you have Possibly. to have state. Yeah, that's state. They'd be sight distance. They, they had to be okay, sight distance, all of that. But on um, uh, uh, the road. depot road being no, the town no, road, we can, we can place those as we see fit. I believe that's right. They might yeah. want to look at the. So we do like a we do like a copy of the letter. See if it's been clarified. Yeah. A copy of the letter to go to the highway. If it's been on the raft, at least with a clarification. The the this is the pertinent part. Right. Right. This is what all the old. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then the other issue, um, did we on the other complaint? I don't think we ever brought it forth because the board never met. We didn't have an official complaint. But Dr. Schaefer did take another um, write another letter with regard to another landlord-tenant issue that uh, seems to have taken the, the entire issue off the Board of Health's plate. It was mentioned, but it did not rise to the level where the Board of Health needed to do anything at that point, um, at that previous meeting, and it was being worked in the background by the health officer. And, we have a and as we stand now, but it's the, the health tenant office. landlord issue, no. It doesn't concern the board of health. health. It does not it concern the board of health, and the health officer has followed through with it. Um, Good. Hopefully that All right. is resolved as well. Then again, did, did they get copies of the potential box box? Did you have a No, them? I never did that because that was just a, I made up the draft. I just made it up. I know you just made it up. Right. Well, we've got to start somewhere. Well, it's fine. I can go make copies of it real quick. It's one. Uh, it's, 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 one. Not, it's not going to, it's not right like, now. Yeah. Um, it's good. That's going to be a policy that uh, one of the first things for the new board is we've got to figure out what, what the policy is going to be on these uh, boxes because the schools have them up now and there's nothing in them because we don't have policy. We still have to get paid for the final. Hmm. Really? I haven't seen it. 
Sam Shuckerman, yeah. It's fun. I, I waited. I mean, it, it, I didn't mail the bill out for quite a while, but uh, it's been it's been three weeks. So I've got four weeks. Huh. What was that about hearings? Hearings, well, hearings, hearings. Yeah, we're not we're not getting into that issue. Sure. Okay. Not okay. on camera anyway. Well, we do have to remember those hearings for for that we need to get. Oh no! Yeah, no. I was yeah. Well, I was off still on the sign this year. No, we're we're off on the sign this year. We're talking about the Knox box policy. Hearings, and signs. Well, well, no, the hearing, the hearing, never mind. <laughs> anyway, so we will postpone that for the new board. They get to deal with that piece of legislation. Uh, land sales update. Um, all paid. Checks received, checks in the bank. I'm not sure how they've been processed back here as to what they've been allocated to, whether they've been put into the system. But the checks have been received, the closings, the deeds are gone, everybody's happy. Um, on that end, we need to, I need to uh, spend a few minutes to figure out how much money we got and how that money's got to be divvied up and where it goes. But we have been paid for the land sales that you guys did back in July. Finally, the closings took place and we're done. Still got some bills to pull in from the attorney to find out where we are with that. Yeah, we need to know the costs. And we need to know the costs. Uh, do you want to add into that a potential announcement on tax sales coming up? We certainly could. Yeah, but it's on the 30th. Uh, the 29th. And I just have no, to 30th of February. get to them. I'll have to. Don't add extra. Bills. We do have four. What, four? Four properties that are going up for. There are four. I have got so, Well, you do too. I only got three copies. Mm, that's because one of them has a staple in it with a picture on it. Oh, okay. I got the copies. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, four, four pieces that are going up um, for tax sale. And there is, a re there is a request from the delinquent tax collector. Yeah, I will get to that. Give me, a, give me a minute. And one of the, one of the issues that um, <coughs> is going, or one of the properties that's going to be sold is in fact one that's been in bankruptcy off and on now for since my tenure again on the board. Um, the informal request from the delinquent tax collector, essentially she wants to know whether or not the select board is interested in buying that piece of property. If in fact uh, nobody bids on it. Right. She's recommending that the board strongly consider Yeah, because the if you don't, do we're, we're, we're going to be right back. Go ahead and look. Yep. She wants the line drawn. So, I mean, that she's, she is requesting that the board strongly consider that if nobody bids on that property, that the town take it. Now, I'm a, I'm a little bit, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit concerned over the fact that the town then will eat the fees. Yeah, but... If you go no. right back into bankruptcy again, and then you're in trouble. That's right. I was going to say, I don't almost... She's precluded, from what I understand, from what the doc, the legal document that was filed said, she's precluded from filing for that. That might be for t temporary or a time. No, nope, that's not. I'll have to go get the document because we had that discussion in the front office. Yeah, but what do we want to... Well, we'll make that sure that you don't worry about that. Well, I think the one thing I... But you're not going to get any taxes if you don't. I think I think we need to purchase it. If there's no other bidders there, we need to purchase it. Uh, Values about whatever the forty. Gosh, the, gosh. No, for uh, what's it owe us in taxes? It's about forty. Forty. About 40. So you know, and the value is well. I, I doubt that's a good appraisal, but, but nonetheless, the value far exceeds what what the delinquent taxes and penalties. Oh yeah, because you take and so three. someone else may buy it, but in fact, oh, yeah. if they don't, mm -hmm. let the town purchase it for taxes owed, and immediately begin eviction procedures. And you can't for a year, can you? No, you got to hang on to it for a year if you're. No, but you can't even start the ev eviction right. for a year. So they could trash it. We could own it for a year. Trash it. And what are they going to do? They could burn it and be better. Well, that would be yeah. not necessarily yeah. bad, but then there goes mm -hmm. part of your. There's smoke coming out of the chimney up there. Cool. Yeah, if the town buys it, can the town, mm -hmm. the town buys it, the town can put insurance on it. Well, the town ought to put insurance on it. We'd like if somebody's going to be living in it. Same as we ought to anyhow. Same as we do any other building. Yeah, just protect their own. 
getting your money back. Yeah. Like but when we have to protect. We we have to protect what it owes us. Oh yeah. In case somebody drives into it. But Friday night. Also, if they don't redeem it, then the, the insurance is void if something did happen to it. I'm not debating the insurance. I, I'm just having a real problem. So you're you you willing to you willing to us, us basically to, to, to pay Becky. We we were already into. They already owe us forty thousand dollars on the property in, in back taxes, and we're going to pay the fees and penalties to the delinquent tax collector until such time as we can turn around and unload it. Yeah, I don't know what the bottom line yeah, the number is. Everything will come to us except to, uh, her fee. Yeah, but over time. Penalties and all that do come right back to us. Eventually. I mean, when, eventually. We, when we sell it, it's pretty apparent that we're not going to get any money out of it. Well, if we could, yeah. if if we can actually sell it for what we have in it, that becomes the problem. If we put it out to bid like we did the other two properties, and they don't bid what the forty thousand that we've got in it. But I think you have to look at the property and see why it was not bid. If you take because it becomes a made guy. No, it's commercially zoned. It's a commercial. It's, it's no commercial. I I don't question. Well, I, I don't think I question the value of the property. I think that. For someone to buy that at tax sale, and I'm just speaking for myself. If I were going to buy a tax sale, and there are people living in it now, then it would cost me another X number of dollars to have evicted after a year of investing that money. I don't know if I want to get in the middle of that personal. You know what I mean? So I go, oh, there's people living there. I'm not going to get involved into that piece. That's. And that's gone on for how many years now? Well, I think, I think what Kathy's alluding to is that you're short the taxes now. We've paid, I don't know how many thousands in legal fees to get us to mm -hmm. the point that we are now. If the town does buy it, then you're going to be showing up at least five figures, four figures, in penalties and whatever to the tax code. So that's actual cash out of the bank that goes with it. Mm -hmm. And granted, you'll get that back if you do sell it in a year or two or whenever. And, and because it's pretty prominent, you will get around it. I mean, I look at Higgins Lane. I was a listener in 2001 looking at that property saying, why do we own this? Joe bought it in 1996. It took us 20 years to get it to this table and get rid of it. 20 years. But we carried that uh, without taxation. And we paid Joe his fees when we bought it. So you can't let these things slip. The 17 acres in West Townsend we've had since 1969 or 68 or before that. So. Um, but the, the uh, Becky did request that the town strongly consider it because it it seals the deal <laughs> somehow or other. It has to be absolutely redeemed at that point. So, and hopefully she'll get some bidders on it because it's. But if you don't, and nobody bids, then they keep right on building tax on it. Well, the mechanics of this would be that you guys kind of decide that and then instruct either instruct somebody to be there exactly two weeks from today at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's the 29th of February, which is Monday morning, uh, day before town meeting, is when the tax sale is. So the board would want so to sign were, we, The board would want to authorize somebody we to need actually. You just got to decide that tonight. You, want to you don't have another. Well, you, you're not going to want to be doing this at the pre town meeting next That's week. That's what I'm saying. Right. I don't have right. another night to. No, this is tonight. tonight. I wish I'd had a little more time to. Although the notices just went out last week, I believe. No, on Wednesday or something. I, I ran into Becky on Saturday. And she just said. Uh, as the more thought about it, so not yet. But it's been such a struggle to get it this far and, and get through that window, the bankruptcy window, to get it to a tax sale. Hopefully it'll be redeemed before tax sale, doubtful, but hopeful. And hopefully there'll be other bidders on it that tie up their money for a year rather than the town. Yeah, but and on the downside of that, that, we ought to decide as a board tonight on how we want to proceed. And I'm not sure that we can do that in an intelligent way. Uh, I'm just thinking uh, I'd like to do a little bit more investigation, mm -hmm. find out if there's any other liens, find out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't think that we can make a safe decision 
until <coughs> a little bit more investigations are done on that. I can uh, get I can no, get you copies of that that I gave to Kathy with the uh, um, Lister card and the uh, that one. There are these are public notice. Actually, I can make another one. But if you'd like that one, and these are the three public notices and the other ones. One. There are four properties going in for sale. Yeah, I understand that. But if yeah. we if we purchase this at tax sale, if the town purchases that and there are other liens on it, mm -hmm. then we purchase the liabilities mm -hmm. along with it. Yeah. That should be right, but that should be right up front. I mean, that should be part of the purchase price is to settle the liens. Well, I understand yeah, that. No, so not 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 the not the yeah, we can't see in other words. Strictly like, delinquent tax then? Okay. I wouldn't see. I wouldn't uh, say. So if there's a mortgage, yeah, buy it, and then find out there's a mortgage and there's other liens and there's, I, you know, I mean, you're buying a pig. I wouldn't home. be. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody isn't leveraged for the hilt on it. And that's what I'm saying. So I don't think that we can make an appropriate or a decision tonight without some investigation on it. I don't know. At least I wouldn't be prepared to do that. I don't know what the rest of it feel like. Well, you can do it out of session and ratify it. Mm -hmm. I can't ratify can't it. Can't ratify it. It's town meeting. No, you can't. Can't ratify it. There'd be a new board ratifying it. Well, the, the other, the alternative to that is, if this goes up for tax sale on the 29th and no one bids on it, then it can be put on tax sale again. Right? I, I mean, think, yeah, I think that's increasing the expenses. I understand that, but I, I wouldn't be willing to sit here and say, okay, let's buy it until I know. She's been trying to get it. You know what the hell we're buying, right? I've been trying to get it to tax sale for three years. You're going to be that. I know, but we don't have that information right now. No, I know that. That's, that's what I'm saying. We'll see what we can find but out. Still got two out. weeks. You guys can make a decision. It's not a big deal. We could somebody look that up, and we could, I suppose, if we had to, have a special meeting to make sure that one, if it isn't any. There may, there may be a few things you want to roll into. Yeah, I think we need to, to look at that. Okay. All right. Then town meeting lunch. Uh, the fire department has graciously offered to uh, pay for and set up the town meeting lunch this year. I want to make sure that everybody's aware of the fact that I hope they're going to be asking for donations. They're supposed to, okay. So we will talk to So we will want to make sure that the moderator and everybody knows that, that there is an expectation that this isn't a free ride, that you should make some kind of a, a donation. I told them they had to set a price. I disagree. I said it for Warren Bailey's the charge of it, I guess. He okay. came and told me just to go ahead and do it, so I've already set it up. It's done. It is. No. Prime rib? No. Prime rib? I didn't set a menu. It's going to be under five grand. <laughs> and whatever they've got in the liquor cabinet is coming this way. It's just on a call basis. Okay, but yes, there will be lunch at town meeting, and we'll need to make sure that, that anybody is aware of it since we've talked about it off and on. Well, it's very generous of the towns and volunteer fire from. Um, there you go. The net metering and the and the uh, lease for the hospital septic system and the transfer station notices. Again, those are all those all those leases that we're talking about that need to be warned. Posted for public public comment in the long terms. We haven't done any of them. Going to be doing them right out of the starting gate in March. Well, part of the issue we were waiting for the Grace Cottage lease to come back from the attorney. Yeah, yeah. Hasn't. I no, it hasn't. Okay, so that one still hasn't come back yet. <coughs> Transfer session I've already got, but I need and to get I need to get certified letters out to a Same okay. with, with the uh, the net metering agreement. So those are going to have be one of the first items on the plate for sure. the new board. All right. Um, hazard mitigation plan ratification. Um, 
that circulated during the off time because there was a deadline that could not wait till this meeting to uh, get that submitted to Wyndham Regional. Okay. So I would entertain a motion to ratify the decision to um, sign and submit the hazard mitigation plan as recommended by the Planning Commission. So move. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion on it? Hearing none, all those in favor of ratifying <coughs> the adoption. adoption of the hazard mitigation plan signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion passes. Why does that keep coming on? Keep it on. I'm not trying to turn it on. <laughs> all right. Uh, time clocks and the cameras. Um, I don't have anything definitive for you. I do have prices, but I don't have to print it out. Um, the complexity of it is the, uh, the, the software hardware that goes in the closet, goes in the basement, goes wherever it goes. And it's coming to a point of if we do it at Town Hall, whether some of these articles that are on the warning with regard to stipending and or eliminating the Office of Auditor actually come up first. Um, so I've kind of held back on that. The price on a single punch clock is, is relatively uh, expensive. They're 300 to $350 on a standard punch clock. You can get electronic punch for about the same price. The fingerprint, the fingerprint ones are a lot less money because they're driven by a computer in the basement somewhere. So you can pick those up for about 100 bucks or less. Um, the time clock and the fingerprinter? A time clock is just, it's a simplex or an accurate uh, print time clock. It's just a clock and you stick a card in it, you hit a button and it punches a time, date and time, yeah. um, based on the clock. The fingerprint one will, you put your fingerprint on and automatically it just drives a message to a software system that logs you in basically. So it's $100. That's a, well, it's $100 for the little reader. Now you need to have a computer and you need to have the cables and you need to have the backup drives and, and all of that that go with it. The reader isn't that much. The ordinary punch clock just takes a little ribbon that gets replaced over a year. Um, and it's good for 10,000 punches. And then you buy paper cards and you stick them in there and your name's on the top. And those are fairly simple. Uh, cameras, surveillance cameras, don't really cost much of anything at all. You can buy four for $120. Again, it's the cables through the wall into some sort of DVR recorder or into a computer system. And, however often that rolls over. So we need a little more technical advice on that. Um, as to whether we're gonna contract it out and get some security company to come in and do that, or whether we're gonna hire a local electrician to snake wires through the walls, how this is all gonna get set up. But the hardware is relatively affordable. I talked to somebody about time hot, and they gave me a price about a little over 150. Yeah, there are, there are things on this, the market. This is just your puncher. Yep, yep, and you can buy them used. I mean, they're available. This is new. Okay, okay. And, uh, but he's, that guy that I talked to, he said he didn't think we wanted to get into that fingerprint one. Why not? Because too much can go wrong with it unless you get a contract with somebody to maintain it. But I mean, that's just, it's just his feeling. Mm -hmm. And again, we have done this before. I, I don't want to. I don't want to put it off, you know, for a new board. But it may be. It may need to be the. Well, this is the second board that's dealt with. Yeah, well, it's more, it's, it's more than the second. It's more than the second. We've done it. We've done it. This is like five boards now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need me running my mouth. You know where I stand. I know where you stand. I know where you stand. Well, the the, the question becomes. Um, you know, the, the, the previous board basically told, instructed Craig to buy them, the, 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 punch, yeah. the punch ones. Mm -hmm. And then the issue that was foremost in everybody's mind, that the difficult employees, I'll say, um, took care of the issue for us so that we didn't have to be so concerned about, about the push. And then we got into it, into the new board, and it's just now rearing its head again. And uh, you know, it, it really, we, we change. We go through a cycle every year, 
as we bring yep. people in sure. that, that try to um, push the boundaries of, of what is allowable and what is not allowable. And the hope is that if you're going to elect people or hire people that are going to work at taxpayer expense for community good, that they're conscientious enough and mature enough to do a decent job and not cheat the system. That's good to be wrong. wrong. <clears throat> but, but it is every week, and it hasn't abated. And Kathy will testify. It is every week that there are issues with, with bail. Sometimes small, sometimes large, mostly they're medium but they are real. So is this something that we want to ad want to go ahead and address? Do we want to leave it for the next group to pick up? What do we want to do? Wait and see what happens with the with the stipends, which will take the hourly portion out of it, at least for two of the two of the groups. Mm -hmm. Say I don't. I think we need to go with the fingerprint time clocks. I said that for a long time, and that's where I still stand. I just. I think that when you're doing fingerprint time clocks, you do away with. You can't even read this one. You have no idea what's going on. Well, you should have seen it before I blew oh, it up. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, I've seen many of them. We're, we're not, we're not done a, talking about this one yet. Either. But it. It just. Mm -hmm. It's incomprehensible. I think the day of being town minded, and I hate to say this, but it's like, it's, you know, how many thousands of hours have any of us put in in a donated way in this town? But other, it, it just, it gets exor exorbitant, it gets crazy. And I think there has to be some way, um, some way of. <laughs> That's the rule. That. Keeping a record of what different departments, how much time they use and how much time is needed. And whether it's auditor or whether it's lister or what. If you want to run for the board of listers, you, you say, well, you just sit in the office or we'll have a meeting a couple hours a week or two. But your time records are going to show different. Your time records not necessarily just a personal thing, but they show you the amount of time that's involved in mm -hmm. in running a department. Including select board, as far as that goes. How many yeah. hundreds and hundreds of, I know, I've sat in your chair, and it's hundreds and hundreds of hours that a week. That's right, that just don't, which well, is a step the, beyond of where we began the conversation of a need for Time cards. And the thing with the with the, the highway crew time cards is that you do have a breakdown down below of what the forty hour week consisted of because you wanted that report. What did you basically do during the course of a Tuesday day? Um, but that to or me, with a time clock, you're not going to. If get, you can't read it, what good does that do you? Number well, one and number two, it becomes a farce when it says four hours patrolling roads, four hours picking up sticks. I mean, but at least you not, have that. But at least yeah, you, it's not, you can take it with it a grain of salt. It's like a false sense of security. So if you don't have any, I mean, to me, as long as the roads and things are maintained and done appropriately, I don't think you need to, all right, what we are doing that hour so much, that's the, that's the foreman's job. And if the roads aren't getting done, and if, if I take a ride or one of the select board member goes for a ride and there's still a stone in the ditch a month later, then you talk to the foreman and say, how come? You know, that, that kind of thing. And, but when you have 65 culverts replaced and your high priority list from four years ago was for 45 of them and only three of them got it done, you need some sort, well, of, then, you need some sort of reporting right. mechanism whereby this is, yeah. Then it becomes our responsibility to meet with the foreman or whoever, all right? It, because they're working for us. We are their boss. And if, if they're not meeting our expectations, then it's our responsibility to confront that. That's what I think. I don't know. 
Yeah, so we're right next to the same thing. Right back to the same thing. Oh, money. I, I don't have a problem. I, it, it, but it's going to cost considerably more money to have them installed and get them wired in. Um, and then it comes down to, you know, I spent $3,000 on four surveillance cameras at the garage, and nobody's looked at them in at least two years. I mean, they are there, but, you know, and it, it depends on whether there are issues, obviously, or not. But there isn't somebody in charge, command and control, of actually making use of them. Um, yeah, but I don't think we bought them for the idea of bringing them home and watching it on a Saturday night. Well, no, you did it. You did it for specific problem. You did it for specific reasons. See what's up. We've had some issues mm -hmm. in, in being able to uh, actually read uh, the information that we're trying to find on it as to who's dumping what at that given point in time, so they can see a license number. Um, you put cameras in the garage, so it's going to be different. So, are we going to look into the costs of installing fingerprint cameras? Are we going to look at the mechanicals? Are we going to leave it for somebody else? And there are there are some reasons to think about <clears throat> surveillance cameras in town hall. And I know everybody's got them, but we do have meetings here for AA. We do have, you know, there are people that don't necessarily want to be filmed. Well, we don't necessarily want to be filmed either. I know that don't be good. That's Richard. That's Richard's fault. He's got our, he's got our own living too. Get that sweet Don't wait there. It's got nothing on my. Tap my pen a little bit. He's just trying to make a buck like everybody else. <laughs> so what's 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 your pleasure? I said my pleasure. I, I think I'd go with Well, that. then make a motion. Somebody make a motion. If that's the way you feel. Get him in, ASAP. Get them installed, ASAP. I think one of the things you have to find, if you do decide to go with the, the more technical event. Okay. Technology. No, no, technology. Technological. Do you want to just start with? Do you want to just start with the highway since this is unresolved down here? As Technology to moves so fast. I'm just nostalgic over yesterday. Okay, but anyway, you know there will be issues with with servers and storage, and and we can't even keep the computers running in this building, can we, Joe? No. Every day there's a problem. Without adding another another layer. And that's, uh, that would be my biggest concern. We don't have anybody overseeing technology in this building at all. And that's just going to be one more thing that's not going to work. Yeah, the first greasy thumb that hits the garage. Yeah, that too. So what do you make well, a motion? All right, uh, this is what I'll, I'll make a motion. Just because you've got to do something. I mean, this has been... 15, 10 years. We bought a time clock one. We put it in the town garage. It never got used. Bang. Yeah, it's no longer there. It went with the plow. It's no longer there. And it went somewhere with the plow. Who got the plow? It just walked away in the middle yeah. of the night. And it's walked so away from the spring. Last spring. And, he was there and just cut feet and walked away. Well, it's crazy if I looked at it. We went back one day to day. No longer that. To begin, I would make a motion that we instruct Craig to purchase a simple card operated time clock to have installed at the town highway garage and instruct the highway foreman and employees on using that as soon as possible. Just the highway garage, yep, not the town hall? At this point in time, until after town meeting. That's what I would do. At least at the highway garage, they will begin getting used to. Yeah. No, I'm, I would With the camera. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying uh, you're going to want that camera inside. Well, we have another, that can plug right into the computer we've already got. You already got a camera, right? Yeah, yeah. we've got three cameras outside. Yeah. With four slots. Yeah. We can plug into the so, extra slot. That's right. That's my motion. And just a simple punch card. Yep. Okay. For this point. Get okay. the cards too. We can update. Yeah, cards. You can update. Yeah. We, you, whoever can update later. Okay. That's my motion. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? You seem unhappy with that. No, I, I think I, I'm, 
envisioning <laughs> discussions of well, why us and why not everybody and on and on and on and on. Because number one, they're not elected officials. The highway crew is not elected We've officials. Got non -elected they officials work. In this I understand that. They work for us. I don't disagree. But we've got other people that are not elected officials in this building, and it, when you start choosing, picking and choosing, we'll we'll work on that next. Yep. Okay, that's fine. That I said that's my biggest concern. Yeah. Is I can I can hear the the. Let well, I'll be happy to record my time. I'm sure you will. Yep. All right. <laughs> so. And we could even get you a time card. Can I have one? Yes, you can. Oh, good. You gonna pay me? It's gonna be a big card. Okay. So I can find it. You can try to turn it in by June 30th. Uh, do we have a second on motion? Uh, was there a first one? No. Not even that's not even. Either. I know. Believe me, I know. All right. So all those in favor of purchasing what is a time clock and a camera? Was that? The, did you? We already the have the camera. No. 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 no we, we have, have, we have the sock. The cameras aren't right. fifty bucks for real. Okay. So was that you must mm -hmm. include the camera? I'll say to purchase a, a punch time clock and a camera for the highway garage uh, ASAP, I believe this was. Yep. Uh, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Abstentions? And the motion passes. So if you would. ASAP. ASAP back. Well, I'm not going to be able to help on much else for the next couple. At it's least, three at days. least, it's going to be readable. At least you can't try to decipher, is that a six Delegate. or Delegate. a one, or it, at least. You won't have the addition problems. That's true. The addition problems. Hopefully problem that, 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 well, the, okay. We can, get, we, can get can a we can get it to total two, but we don't need to do that. Okay. One thing that we need to do is since we just made the decision to, to purchase these clocks and install them, while well, this board that made that decision is sitting here, I think you need to, to pass the policy that's going to go with it. It will be in, it will it be officially written at this point in time, but it will be at least recorded in the minutes that they will be used by all employees. Mm -hmm. I think there needs to be a motion to that effect. All, all at this point in time, all highway employees uh, yeah, yeah. must submit their time on the punch cards. Starting. As soon as they're installed, effective as soon as they're installed. Well, would we want to put in the Arnold's time too? Is Arnold, Arnold, Arnold has there? access to the garage. Can you get in there? Yeah, yeah, it's a key. Okay, so there would be the highway department in Arnold. Yep. Okay. So, who made that motion? I don't know, but somebody seconded it. Whatever it was. Check it. Whatever okay. it was. I don't know how to phrase it. I asked second. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So all those in favor of uh, making the punch cards for the highway department <coughs> and for the compact attendant mandatory for submission of time, signify by saying aye. No. Opposed? Extensions? Motion passes. So at least now there's a matter of record that they must be used. We can't have any more walking away going on. All right. So the next, the next, oh dear Lord. Let's do the gazebo repair first. This one's fine. I'm just doing my checklist. Oh, you know, let's go to that. That will be more fun. More. Um, I asked for three. Uh, the gazebo, for those who weren't here, don't know. We have uh, spent quite a, bit, quite, a bit of, quite a bit of press on the gazebo after it was hit. And we have discussed... Uh, the issue with uh, insurance companies, the LCT, is helping us with the driver's insurance company. In any case, I requested three bids. We got two. The third bidder is not going to, uh, most came in today, third bidder is not going to call me up. So we do have two bids on the table uh, for gazebo repairs. The building was wrapped, and they know that. It was moved, turned uh, by the uh, but the vehicle is trucking. You may want to look at them both before you read it, just to see where you want to go. <laughs> so anyway, three local, three local contractors. Right? How do you 
Oh, 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 oh. Paper oh, oh. cut. Okay. Paper cut. Workers okay. gone. What's the worst? Oh, Kyle's not here to save me. Kyle's not here to save me. You need a band aid? That's Nitch. Must be. Should be 58. Okay, so the first one we have is from Holshock uh, Construction, which is Andrew McVale. It's an estimate for the gazebo. Uh, the building has to be picked up, new support posts needed to be built, and then it needs to be set back down on its original footing. At this point, it's been pushed off the footing by about four inches. Then all the trim needs to be fixed and painted. The estimate is for all labor and materials. Wash, scrape, prime, and paint the entire gazebo. So they're going to do the, the entire thing over. So it was $3,500 for the repair and another $2,300 to paint, scrape and paint the whole for a total of 50 or for, yeah, 58. Yeah. So 35 and 23 for the and scrape 2300, and paint. Yeah. Because I'm going to split those out. By the insurance will cover the repairs. I'm not sure it'll cover the entire scrape and painting. But some of the some of the painting is absolutely necessary, cosmetic. Um, okay, the, this one is from uh, Ralph Sherman and Son, and it says work includes the structure was hit hard enough to knock it off its footings. We propose to jack it up just enough to then rack it back to its original position. Construct four new uh, pressure treated supporting walls approximately three foot in height that were damaged in the accident. Reattach and... Reinforce. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Reinforce all railings. Replace deck boards damaged in the accident. All trim broken in the accident will be replaced with new to match original design. Removal and disposal of all debris in the... Underneath. Included in the quote. Uh, 500 has been included in the price for priming and painting all of the new surfaces. And the total estimate is $3,200 minus the payment allowance due upon completion. What does that mean? I don't know. He would subcontract the painting? Must be. I to was, his sister? It's $500 included yeah. for. Oh, well, he would. Not sure. For priming and painting. And then totals minus paint allowance. I know that was $500. But that's, he just, he's just painting the damaged part. Right. Not the whole. Right. That's why it's broke up in two okay. different. Right. Okay. So the total's 32. So the total's 32, and then with everyone. Okay, that so that's you know, you get. Two people to bid, one's 35, one's 32. That's right. not too far off. Plus, you got more to do because cosmetically, it really does, even after you do the repair work, new paint is going to look lousy against old paint. So, yeah. you really do have to blend it in and do some extra on it. Um, Payments to me as far as total, minus the payments to upon completion. So, I'll see. so they're talking about payments. So that's the total price. That has nothing to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we've got one at 32 and we've got one at 35. Well, that's 32 includes painting too? No, just the price. Just, 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 just the, the damage. Yeah, damage there. Yeah. 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 Which is what all the insurance companies going to pay for? Yeah. No, not really. But I said the thirty-two would include that. Well, otherwise, that thirty-five is no painting in it. Well, one of the things that we did receive, and I can't yeah. There's another twenty-three top of it. Then all the trim needs to be fixed and painted. This is for labor and materials, and that's for that's, that's a different. Yeah. So I'm assuming they're going to paint and trim. Yes. The, the, the repair. Mm -hmm. The new wood. Yeah. We haven't gotten very far, I haven't gotten very far into this between our insurance company and uh, the gentleman who hit it, it's an insurance company. 
uh, they indicated they did not need to send an adjuster up to look for it, that they would cover the liability. I think that they believe that this is not going to be more than $5,000, whatever, it's not worth it. That having been said, they indicated, and I will have to get it to clarify, that they would basically reimburse them. Reimburse, we have to pay that would seem to be the, 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 the way this will probably proceed, is that you will uh, make a decision on this. We'll give somebody the go-ahead. I don't think it's going to happen before the weather warms up substantially anyway. Um, you're, not gonna digging, you're not going to be digging right. posts. It's supposed to be tomorrow. This yeah, but anyway. you're not digging posts into the ground no. tomorrow. Uh, so so does anyone make a, want to make a motion on these? Do we want to look for another bid? Uh, it's not big enough to really, 15 is where you go to three bids by man. Yeah. I, I wanted more than a couple just so that we, and there was supposed the to be three here. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but anyway, they both seem to be in the ballpark, so same ballpark. Somebody? It's like pulling teeth around here. Pulling teeth would probably be easier. Less painful. <laughs> Somebody? <laughs> to the person following. <laughs> you got Ralph Sherman and, Adam, and Andrew McPhail. Well, Ralph is a lower bid. I, I was, as I'm looking at him, I was just trying to compare if they're both going to do the same thing. Pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Do you know anything about the other fellow? The other one is. Um, Actually, I, I talked to Randy Levitt, so I think Randy is the one who's working for Andrew McVale. Do you know but if he is? No. No? Andy mm -hmm. lives on Townsend Acres. Andrew <laughs> McVale? Does he work with Randy Levitt? Just, oh, his language yeah. is a little bit. Racket uh, back. Racket back. Because I asked. Yeah. What it is, is we put in What are the stairs are? And now I've got one from The stairs are somewhat so I don't on the foundation, but on the other side where he hit it, it slid that whole other side off, oh, so it needs to be. So maybe, maybe, maybe this, the whole thing maybe doesn't have to move. Maybe the unsolicited by me because I did talk to I did. And I, oh, you were friendly with him. Oh, okay. He uh, asked about it, so I yeah, told okay. him what I was to be doing. Okay. Then we may be getting another one, but I, uh, tonight was the deadline because this was your last meeting. So whatever you'd like well, to do. He, Ralph is the old bidder, and they're both equals equals. It's from my yeah. opinion. So There's I would make tell. a motion that we contract with Ralph Sherman and Sun Builders to um, to repair the gazebo not to exceed $3,200. And I believe that that quote, total minus the paint allowance, so it would be $3,200 less $500, and I'm not sure what that paint allowance, what that means. Well, we'll do not to exceed 32, and we'll find out. Yes. <clears throat> because I honestly think that the town may want to put another three or four or five into it. There are issues with the gazebo yeah, yeah. that pre existed the accident. And well, I think but, that when we get to that point, you may say, well, as an additional, as a rider onto this, we can only claim so much per possibly under insurance, but we also want XYZ to happen at the same time. But he may be figuring on getting paid so he can buy the paint up front. Could be. Uh, the the five hundred for the paint. Yeah. I mean that's well, right. so there's, not a, there's not a lot of materials there. there. There really isn't yeah. much. It's a hollow structure. It's got four by four know, every yeah, six feet piece much. of plywood. That's yeah. it. So yeah. did, 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 was there a second to that? Can't you made the motion? Yeah. Was there a second? Where? All right. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of awarding the uh, contract to Ralph Sherman to repair the gazebo? the comments signify by saying aye. Not to exceed. Oh, not excuse me, not to exceed thirty two hundred dollars Signify by saying aye. Mm -hmm. aye. Opposed? Abstentions? The motion passes. So, this is actually a contract. Do you want me to sign it? My Except it's, except it's a proposal. This one is. Well, I can photocopy. Uh, let me call him. I'll photocopy it, and we can do that later, next Monday night or something. But I'll let him. Know. There's that card that goes with it. Yeah. All right. So that takes care of the gazebo. Is there anything else we're going to need to talk about before we take on the, the town report? <laughs> All right. I can't. Oh, we, what else do we have to add? Go up ahead. Craig. Yes. Can you get a hold of the power company this? Street light and the to the road is out. Yeah, it is. I know. 
Right right. Well, well, the the pizza house or on the island? Oh, right. 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 Heck of a lot easier sometimes when you come up here. You can see if there's a car sitting there. Yeah, that'll start. Okay. Uh, we'll give them a call. We are in the middle of uh, maybe getting them replaced with LEDs here. Yeah, best of luck with that. that well, no, that's, that's actually in the in the queue as a Friday again. <laughs> How'd that happen? Well, because we have the uh, memorandum of understanding and we have the energy efficiency commitment, and yeah. it's somebody eventually, like the Army Corps engine, wrote a letter said, "What's going on with this?" So the power company saying, "Well, I don't know. We thought you were dealing with them." And they said, "No, I thought yeah. you were." Dealing. So anyway, it's back. It's, it's back. back in, it's back in motion. Okay. And, All right. Uh, let it down, down, go get call. So nice. if they're going to get in there and replace it, then I'll put in some. What color you want? Okay. Yeah. So down the port. I have seen a kind of a mock-up of the town report. I'm just gonna. Yeah, let somebody there. else see it. Well, this is the town report. No, that no, no. That is no, the no. That's that's. We, we asked to we asked to 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 look at it. A lot of changes have been made since that came out. So yeah, we've run out of time. <laughs> the the town report at this point in time is at the printer. We don't know what it looks like. We were not allowed the opportunity to proof it. The one thing that I have found in here is, in fact, there are no numbers that relate to the budgetary numbers we're asking for. There's no revenues. There is no um, comparison, comparison budget. In other words, where we finished last year, what kind of surplus we'd be rolling over. There, none of those numbers exist. Um, an awful lot of the, the the pictures that are in here seem to be of um, retail businesses in town, to the exclusion of some others, which is not really appropriate either, including the hours that they're open. Uh, what else? What else am I? Uh, the, my report is one page and a half of run-on sentence, just so you know. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, and, and I, they had to take my spacing out of my report so that they could get that picture in there. That was violent. And the fire department report got merged and other things happened as well. Yeah. So there are a lot of Mine issues came. with this. The treasurer's report got merged. Um, my biggest concern is we cannot sit on the stage at town meeting and point to a page that says, you know, here, here are the figures. This is what is to be raised in tax. It's not there. So we're going to have to reconstruct all of that for town meeting. We. Yeah. Uh, that old royal Yes, we. <laughs> uh, he's the treasurer and the chair. Because i got to work on time machines. Did, did you hear anything about the chair? I didn't hear anything about the chair. Did you hear about the chair? I didn't hear a thing about a chair. Anyway. I'm going to be working on the way back. The, we're going to have to put flip charts together for town meeting. That's the only way we're going to be able to actually get the information out. The biggest, the biggest thing that we don't know at this point in time is if the school warning made it in there. They were so confused by what they were doing that they've got the Leland and the Gray warning in there. I had them remove that. For January 28th. The Leland and Gray warning, but they never put the elementary school warning in. Our warning is in there, so we're covered. We may be inserting the school yeah, warning. What? How many days is that going to be out? Uh, ten days. So we, as long as it's in people's hand by Friday, ten days out. They have to be ten days in advance. Yeah, but you don't know if the warning's right or not. Our warning is. The Wyndham County Sheriff didn't provide nothing. Exactly. Casella exactly. won't pay to that. Casella provided something. Yeah, Casella and Waste Management has them added in there. They had nothing to do with him. I don't where did this stuff come out? I mean, where did the, he get the whatever? That's what the fuck came Well, from. I understand that there's some. I, so, anyway, we just uh, again saw this midweek and uh, 
some discussions were had while they were here, but they weren't here all week. Um, corrections supposedly are being made. It is at the printer right now. Uh, and hopefully we're going to see it. I'm hoping to see a copy tomorrow. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm hoping to see a copy tomorrow. But if they need to be in the mail and basically in delivery by Friday, then they really do need to be picked up Wednesday or Thursday. And there is, there is a lot to putting labels on them and getting them over there all. There's a long way to go yet. Right. Uh, that's waste management. Right. Yeah, that's right. Four. Oh, I know where they are. They owe me a dollar ninety-one cents. <laughs> they forget. They sent. They sent me a credit slip. I, I thought it was a bill, so I sent them a check. No, they owe me. But. Yeah, I, I really I really don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't, uh, either. I don't either. I mean it's the problem is it becomes a legal document and it's nowhere near It's a legal historic document. The problem is is that you had a couple of people that had no experience in doing it that didn't ask for um, any help from anyone else, which is unfortunate. I mean there there were five auditors last year that, that basically worked on the report. There are people around that have been doing this for more than 10 years. Yep. I'm here every day. I've done 10 of them with other people, more or less, or at least overseen them. I'm here to answer questions, and I haven't been asked anything. But at town meeting, well, you don't have to have to, have to accept the auditor's report. Well, no, and well, the auditor's report is only the paragraph right. that's in there. Yeah, but that, the audit, it, so but that the becomes town, town report. Right, but that becomes part of You don't accept the town report anyway. At town meeting, we'll have probably a whiteboard or a big screen with a projector on it, or we'll have handouts, one of the two. But you're going to have to work off your own pages, because yeah, I don't know that you that, can use that this. That ain't system. within a room of tales of. <laughs> well, we, we'll, we're, we're going to see. Good save, Irv. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Not with a windrow of tales. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be wonderful, and uh, we should know pretty quick the next day or so. And this everybody, makes us look everybody will know. It's going to make us look like fools. Us? No, I don't think I so. Mean, do. I do. What do you mean you don't think so? There's spelling mistakes in it. There's, I mean, look at the pictures. But we're not. Look at the pictures. It's the 21st century. We got pictures. Yeah. Looks like you're looking yeah, through a well, freaking the thing is, 100 yeah. feet of water or something. Okay. This was done by the auditors. That's all. One more reason that we'll have to nail, a, nail the cop. But but at saying. the same time, we still have to have the the ability to explain the numbers that we put into oh, our yeah, warning, well, yeah. and we don't have any of that. Not it's not that. documented no. there. So I don't know how we can possibly stand up at town meeting and say, yeah, they messed up. Well, you can to some degree because one of the auditors has only been here since November. The other basically wrote the auditor's report. And if you read the auditor's report, I think you'll find that it's not as fleshed out as it might be. He's blaming the bookkeepers for the whole problem, not the fact that the auditors didn't show up to do the job. And that is a real... Oh, and, and just, just FYI, just get this out in the open. Okay. <laughs> Just FYI, um, if it comes through in the town report, well, first of all, if my report comes through looking like that tomorrow with no spaces, no punctuation, they will not be in the town report because I will personally be up here ripping them out. I am not that illiterate. <laughs> okay, that's number one. Number two, on one of these pages. I will sit on the stage and say, they did you really write this? Oh, you are coming? Well, if I show up. <laughs> Where the devil is, is the salary piece? Oh, look at look at the index on the front cover. Yeah, the index doesn't go that far. <laughs> there are no page numbers, Kathy. Yeah, but it at least gives you the, the sequence. But there's a breaks use right there. Is, is that no? No, no, it's, it's on the right hand page. No, I'm looking for the one that you asked me about earlier. Yeah. The, the salaries where the I salaries. Owe, where I owe so much money? Yeah, where well, you yeah. owe us all the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh well. You're the one that took the twenty right. Thirty two. Salaries and wages. Okay. 
Just, just so you know this, first of all, he's got wages in italics are outstanding claims due. Okay, so Craig goes us 32.5. Hey, uh, Donna no, Trumbull owes us 1,012. Let me just give you a check. But, but over here. What's Joe Dana on us? Uh, Whoa. He got a zero, though. No, he, he's good. But, but just so you know, we, we owe, that's the money that we chose not to pay. Oh, okay. So I have a feeling it's going to come back at town meeting. Mm -hmm. Because he made a point out of it. It's not highlighted. It's our Calyx. Craig missed that one, but yes, that was going to happen. Yeah, something on that day order tonight about that? No, that was just the, the two hours in October. Well, what can I say? It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> Keep flipping through. There's a couple of them so, that are pretty comical. <laughs> Any, anyway, there, there's there's a lot of things in here that we're going to have to, to put together explanations of separate from the town report. Well, see, this is 2015. Yeah. That would be like uh, fiscal 16. Yeah, but yeah. that would be that would be wages for the last yeah, count. Remember that this this actually shows calendar year, not fiscal year. So, yeah, the 15 is the one that... No, that's not right. What? Yeah, end of June of 15. <coughs> uh, uh, yeah, the end of June of 15 was uh, the year 15. 15 and 16, right? Right. The fiscal year 15 and 16. Yeah, now we're on 16. Right now. That's right. right. So June, so, that, but remember that the salary, the wages, it does not follow the town's fiscal year. It follows the W-2s on the calendar year. In January to December. Right. So it's, it's off sync. <coughs> yeah, because... Go through a couple other ones here. Yeah, yeah well, W-2s, but it's not, the salary does not have to follow the calendar year. No. no, but I think they've just done it just to make it easy for all well, the different years. But it they shouldn't be. But they yeah, have it shouldn't be. No, they it shouldn't be, because see... Irv's isn't recorded in there, and mine's not recorded in there. In the town report. But you took it. You took you it. You didn't so, get it. You weren't there last year, June 30th. But yeah, so in the fiscal time. year, oh. if it were fiscal year, I was. Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting up there in the town, you, you that that money has already been allocated for the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. But we haven't, we haven't finished the fiscal That's year. It. That's just part of it. But we haven't finished this I year. understand that, but you've also already paid me. For You'll be in for next year, though. But yeah. yeah but you will be in for next year. Right. You would show them the way. You, 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 you get paid after uh, the first of July. Right. So you won't come in until the next year coming right. forward. Yeah. So you work in for nothing. There you go. But you're you're making less than I am. But it's all allowed. Uh, a lot less, less than you are. <laughs> and you're putting in more hours. Look at the overtime they're getting. I know. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, is that double time on holiday? Today's a holiday. Double too. time and a half. Boy, <laughs> man. So I don't, I don't know what all you want to do, what kind of plan we might want to. We are going to have to have more than a dry run next week at the pre-time meeting, <laughs> which is next time, next week. With the school board. Well, the school board's not in there, so you got to find out if the school board's going to yeah, they're, not, they're going to have to put that in the paper if it's not in there. Well, we can always do an insert into the town report as well. Because they, they've signed their warning. The warning is out. It's been posted. I realize that. So, but but if, we can, if the town report doesn't get around the way they're going, well, we'll see. We, then ours going to have to go as well. We, we may have to put ours in the paper. It should, it should be in there. By Friday night, I had talked to one of the auditors and let them know that it absolutely had to be, or it had to be printed and stuffed in there, and that means a thousand photocopies on the front machine. But that one way or the other, it had to be, and I haven't heard back. It's been three days, so I haven't heard back. I came down, I got a copy of the school warning, I put it in there, the computer in their box, and uh, it's still in there. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we're going to hopefully have a, a free print available tomorrow. I'll go pick it up. Down. And then we need to look and see what corrections and or additions that we need to make so that done. we have the numbers and I think that we need to do them on a handout. That's what I think. Well, very Because you don't want to stuff them into it. No, we don't. But we weren't going to stuff them. 
No. You know, we were either going to do a handout or actually have Craig on the stage with the board flipping them over so that we can ex explain them. I'd rather have a handout myself. Kathy actually wasn't going to let We're going to take a lot of time to get you. <laughs> Can you explain them if you don't want to flip over, but if the person's going to work a hand, they can understand well, I, you I, both. It don't matter. I mean, yeah, I don't disagree, but I do, I do know that you're talking about a real short window of time to pull this right. together. Oh, yeah, we are that. Yeah. And you're talking about Craig and I working in the next so 80 hours. So we're going over time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just like... <laughs> but the thing is... Time and a half. That's why we have a truck. Please, please that's open Why not me? Please open the <laughs> safe so you can get my that's what, letter. Well, that's what the error takes me. Because they've had since last July. Yeah, well, we can do we'll that one. But yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. That's different. Yeah, yeah, no, but I say they've had that right. amount of time. And first, first, we need to. Nothing new happen. First, we need to see what we've got, and we need to make an assessment right. of what we've got, and we got to figure out a game plan on what we have to do. It's so we don't know what we have to do. No, but we, we have two weeks to do it, and we have a dry run next Monday night, is pre town meeting. Everybody be here. And then we'll have emergency meetings on Tuesday, 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 Tuesday Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> or Friday. Well, you might have to. You do or do. I mean, it's, you just all need to be aware of the fact that we don't know what to expect. We asked, uh, after we, we made some very obvious corrections to that document that you just looked at, uh, we asked if we were going to get to see a, a mock-up before it actually went to print. There's no time. And we were told, number one, there was no time. But we were also told that all the corrections were made. So we don't know what that means. Because we didn't correct any numbers, as I recall, did we? Uh, I didn't get into any numbers. I didn't have time to look any, at them. I got into one, but there, there are many more. And, and, and again, I did not go through this with a comb because I, I know that it was a work in progress even as we left it behind, as you left it behind. Well, let's wait for the minute and to see it. I decided if I'm going to read so this. So, do, like, do you want to, my point is, do you want to try, after we get a copy in our hands, do we want to try to meet sometime the latter part of the this week? You're going to know within a few hours of getting your copy as to whether we're going to make phone calls to get people together. I well, that's why I'm just wondering how available is everybody to have an emergency meeting? <coughs> yeah, I'll be available. I can come up in the afternoon about that. The afternoon about that this week. Yeah. When are we getting these? It was supposedly tomorrow. Well, I'm hoping tomorrow. The weather's lousy for driving over, and I'm not even... So because the Wednesday, these, Thursday, these Friday? Belong, these belong to the auditors. Patrick's going to go pick them up in a Honda. <laughs> um, but I've talked to the gentleman who's printing them, and I said, I need half a dozen copies, ASAP, first print run. I don't care if they've got covers on them or not. I need them. And he said he'd call me as soon as the... As the uh, Basically, the ink is dry. Um, but he said it was going to take a couple of days, so they would bring them out. And I said, you don't have a couple of days. I mean, they really need to be picking them up tomorrow. There's a lot of stickers to put it. There's a, lot, there's a lot of work to do to get them in the mail. That said, I'm going to try to get copies tomorrow. And uh, even if it's just a blind run to West Chesterfield and back, uh, I'm going to try to get copies for everybody tomorrow. And if I do, then I will leave them in your door, or I'll give you a call. We'll punch um, out before you leave. <laughs> I'll punch somebody out before I leave. You <laughs> punching somebody when they get back too. I'm sure because I'll be reading. But I drive home in the car. Uh, nice I can. <laughs> is that uh, live? Is it working days or just days? I think it's, it's just ten days. I think it's ten days before the town meeting. It has to be in their hands. The voters. It's way the law reads. You've got it. No, I, some, some things are working days and some are just plain days. I think it's yeah. just, it's just a straight 10 days. I think what if you only work a half a day? So I think the, it's very nice. They've got to be a half a day. They don't, they don't work at all. Days. What if you're I mean, retired? Geez. They don't say business days. I'm sure they just say days. Uh, I believe it just gives the day. February. Look at the 19th or the 20th or yeah. something. Last day for them. Okay, the legislative body must post a warning at least 10 days before the public information. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, no, that's not the 19th. I did give you copies of the warning, so that is your document that I just gave you three anyway um, to sort of look over and memorize. There it is. At least 10 days before town meeting, town meeting must 
Warning must be published in an annual town report by this date unless town is voted to provide notice of availability to avoid publishing warning in the newspaper. That is the 20th, which is Saturday, right? Yep. So they're going to have to be in their hands by Saturday. Wow. Ah. Not really. It's got to be by Friday. Well, yeah, but they have to be in their hands. No, but I said they're going to be in their hands by Friday because you can't count town meeting day. No, that this is this is this year's. It says it, it must be on the twentieth because this is a leap year. We're going to Pennsylvania Thursday and Friday. Yeah, what was the point? So see the the twentieth. The twentieth would be the first day. But the Secretary of State says they must be no. in their hands on the 20th. The Secretary of oh, State. <laughs> I'm going to say something much worse than that in a minute. No. Camera stuff. Mm. So, yes, that's where we are. So, I don't know, again, what you kind of get availability you all have. But we're, I'm guessing we're going to have to have a strategy session of some kind this week. If you get those tomorrow, this is what I can do. I can, we can sit tomorrow night and go through it and see what we need to have to do. Oh, well, you, you Kathy's going to be having fun somewhere else across town. Yeah. Maybe. I can't do it tomorrow. We'll find, we'll find out. We'll work something. We're going to look at them, we'll walk them through them, we'll see what we need to do. And, and again, it's, uh, you set a budget based on the three pages that's on that board under that first page, and that's still there, so we can we can morph something together. We'll have uh, you look like a sixth grade class up there with you. Well, no, what it's going to look, out. What it's going to look like is the, board, is the board is going to have to say, ignore this. And I mean, you can read all the fluffy pieces if you want, but ignore the, the germane parts of this. You have a warning in here, and then you got all these numbers. And frankly, we don't owe fourteen thousand dollars on our compactor for the next five years. I mean, we didn't borrow forty thousand dollars for a twenty fourteen DT, whatever the hell that is. I mean, there there's some issues with there's some issues. Where do you get the numbers for that? Nobody knows. So anyway, it is legal for medicinal use. The uh, the one thing that, that is in the auditor's report, and I don't all don't have it, but it's basically there was a recommendation to the select board just for your own information. Good job. That we have universal timesheets for all the town employees. This is their recommendation. Mm -hmm. That we post hours of all the town employees. So I don't know how we're supposed to do that, but please post your hours from here on out and streamline the purchase order system within each town department. So, just you know. I don't know when those recommendations are coming to the board, but they've yet to arrive, but yeah, they it are says, in print. It says, you know, um, we, have we have made, past tense, a number of recommendations to the select board for tracing responsibility. Well, it's really the select board's fault. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so with that being you, said, you two should buddy up and run again for a moment. Nobody certainly wouldn't elect me after the mess I made it this year. Why <laughs> even bother? Anyway, again, there's pre town meeting is February 22nd at 6 p.m. here. Thank um, you. I saw and heard from our moderator. Well, well, sure, we may as well go for broke, not have a moderator either. It'd make it a real fun day. And uh, town meeting then is the week after March 1st. And the town clerk will not be at town meeting. Just saying. Why is that? She's going to be down here. Doing oh, I think she's going to stay as an eligible man is coming down here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I thought Bill Dagnall was going to be down here. Oh, I'm supposed to be. Okay. That's going to slow down the count because everything's going to pick it up. Well, who are we excited? Anyway, if there's no other business, I would entertain a motion to adjourn at 8.12. So, move. Just a second. Second. The meeting is adjourned by consent.